Yo, what's going on? Today we're showing off some card show pickups. Spent like 40 something dollars. Um, start off with my first, or my last purchase actually. First card I bought. This film you got on Ryan for 50 cents for my 78 set. Um, cool card, really off center. Um, I bought this Harmon Killebrew. Um, he has a nice mustache, eye black, goatee, um, doubles card. I don't know what year this is, but it's a epic caliber. Um, bought this Reggie Jackson for my seventy eight set. Um, really nice card. Bought this Tony Oliva, now Hall of Famer. Um, tattoo from a long time ago. I don't know what year this is. Did it say? No. Um, three dollars for that. And then this nice Harmony Killebrew scratch off for three dollars. I think I paid seven dollars total. He cut me a deal because I spent like 30 minutes going through that box. Um, second thing I bought was second to last thing I bought actually. A couple 78s. So we got a nice Willie McCovey 78 for my 78 set. Lou Brock for my set. Joe Morgan. Nice George Brett. Um, Bruce Sutter. And then uh, Blue Star Joe. These were $2 a piece and Paid ten dollars, gave me two dollars off. Last thing, last singles that I bought, Joe Ryan, rookie, five dollars. I buy from the seller every month. Um, he's by far my second favorite seller because my favorite seller only does card shows in like the winters. But um, then another Joe Ryan rookie for six dollars. Nice Harmon Killebrew PSA three. Um, for 10 bucks. Only thing I found wrong with it was that corner's dinged. Otherwise, it looks really nice. So, super cool card for 10 bucks. Um, I actually paid $16 total. Because he gave me a deal. So, I buy there. Just about every month. Every month, I buy from him. And, so he just cut me a deal. But, um, also when I was at the batting cage, not that long ago, I bought... Four cards, but I don't remember what the fourth card was and where it went. But the batting cage, there's a guy selling cards. And I bought this Pete Rose for a quarter, 74 tops. Felipe Alou for a quarter, 70 tops. And he played for the Minneapolis Millers. And then Cal Ripken Jr. for a quarter. And then I th probably the last card was like a 78 or something. No, it was a Joe Maurer. It was like a Joe Maurer penny thing. And I was at the Minnesota State Fair. TC Bear is there, and since I'm a nerd, I brought a TC Bear card to get autographed. And why not? Also bought um, from the same guy for my 70 set and my 78 set. I got like twenty dollars worth of 78 cards. But that's another video. Um, I bought three packs of penny sleeves for three bucks. And then a uh, five dollar mystery box. Open that on the channel soon. And then the last thing I bought was an insane amount of binder pages. They probably can't even see those, but it's a uh, hundred binder pages for four dollars. <laughs> I thought that was a really good deal. And they're like new. I also bought a binder for a seventy-eight set. Because I didn't have any extra binders. So I think that is it for this video. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of my pickups. And I'll see you guys next time.